I'm a pipe fitter welder. That is 150% use of your hands. You have to be able to use your hands. And being a welder, being steady is the, the key to your job. I was about halfway through my apprenticeship and it got to a point where there was no welding, you know, that I got a nickname, the Shaky Ray. The central tremor is the most common neurological condition in the United States, and it affects probably somewhere around 7 to 10 percent of the population. It is a syndrome where people have a tremor when they try to do things with their hands, so when they reach for something or when they write with their hands or when they're eating with silverware or something like that, it clearly has a big impact on people's lives. It started out where the right hand was way worse than the left hand, you know, and me being a right-handed person, you know, you do everything with your right hand, everything from writing to something as simple as putting your debit card into a, a card reader. The toll that it takes on you when you do that is, is embarrassing. Anytime I would try to weld something, it, it just, it came out all over the place. I said, well, I'm just gonna have to start going more into the management side of it and stop working with my hands so much. And that, that proved to be just as bad. You know, you can't type on a keyboard. You can't operate the mouse on your computer. I would call my wife just in tears, you know, and tell her, I, I just can't do this anymore, you know. All hope at that point was lost. He had been seeing a neurologist uh, for a while. The neurologist basically said, uh, you have benign essential tremors and it's going to continue to get worse. There's no cure for it. He said, I can give you medication to try to control it, but I can't stop it. And over time, those medications weren't working. He increased the meds until Ray was up to about 28 pills a day. It was like being a zombie sitting on the couch, you know? constantly queasy at the stomach, never being able to get up and find the energy or the willpower to go do something. You know, I was on so many different medications and none of it worked. I made the decision that enough is enough. That medication is breaking your system down. Through research, I found that there were a couple of different facilities in the United States that were doing the focused ultrasound procedure. And uh, I reached out. There are usually no abnormalities structurally in the brain. So an MRI or a CAT scan won't show anything wrong. And we can quantify the amount of tremor using particular drawings of spirals and straight lines and having patients write a sentence. It just looked like a bunch of scribble. I mean, it was literally like you gave a, a one-year-old kid a pen and told him, here, go draw on the wall. Looking at that spiral, the first thing that I did was say, I'm screwed. I'm never going to be able to recover from this, you know? And that is a pretty sickening feeling. Focus ultrasound is a technology that allows for extreme, less than, you know, half a millimeter of precision in the brain for where you want to deliver that energy. There's a helmet, basically, that a patient wears, and uh, that helmet has about a thousand ultrasound beams in it we can enable the collision of those beams in a very precise location in the brain that I determine based on where I know we need to make a disruption in the communication pathways that are causing the symptoms. And it also happens to be completely incisionless. The ultrasound beams just travel through the scalp and into the brain tissue, and we individualize that to each patient. The first time I came out of that tube and I had seen the improvement that was an instant tearjerker. It was the greatest moment of my life, being able to actually write my name. You know, knowing that I could provide for my family again was it life-changing. The more options we can give a patient, the better quality of life they're gonna have, and the more empowered they're gonna feel in their own care to be not just be told this is what you have to do, but say what works best for you and your lifestyle. And I think patients do better when they feel like they have some control and some input into their own care. There's a very, very special place in my heart for Stanford Medicine, the staff and the neurosurgeons and just the neuroscience program over there in general. 
after the surgery, they came out and they have his discharge papers. They handed the papers to me to sign him out. And he said, no, give me that. I want to do it. And he took the papers and he signed them and he just looks at me and he has a big grin on his face and he says, that's cool. He was fixed. I never thought in a million years that there could be a surgery to cure somebody's hands from shaking by projecting sound waves into their brain. As soon as the swelling had gone down from the surgery and I had come off of the medicine for the steroids, it was like there was no side effects at all. I've had a couple of my welds featured in a magazine, a couple of online publications. Now I make it a point to do as much outdoor stuff and involvement with the kids as possible because I missed out on that time. That's the greatest feeling in the world. When your daughter comes up to you and says, hey, daddy, can you help me color this? Sure, no problem, sweetheart. I get joy out of every day now.